here of Jamie's Faces on behalf of facepaintingtips.com to show you this Arabian princess face paint design. So I'm starting off by loading a wide chisel brush. Um, this is similar to the number 816 by Paradise. And I load it with gold by Diamond Effects and I'm covering the entire eyelid here. Um, a little bit down in the inner eye and all the way out following the brow line. Pulling down a little bit on the inner eye. And now I'm loading with a mix of light and blue and dark metallic blue by Diamond FX. And I placed it on the wide side of the brush and pull from the outer edge in toward the middle of the eyelid. And then I turned the brush on an angle and just gently pulled it along beneath the eyelash line. Then I'm using my finger to blend it. I pulled the color up a little bit higher, and when it's wet, I just pull my finger to blend it a little bit, giving that Arabian extreme princess eye look. And with the same brush, I've got metallic purple, dark purple, and I place just a little bit of that over the metallic. And now I'm using my red star blends for blush. And here I have my favorite color tag, teal, metallic teal. And I've loaded a number four round with that and just put a perfect circle in the center of the forehead and four very small teardrops. And then on top of that, I loaded with a dark metallic blue to create a shadow on the lower half of all of these. And then I loaded with a little bit of white to create a highlight on the other end of it. Here I'm using something new. I have Maron mixing liquid into a little bowl and I have Maron gold powder, metallic powder. And I find this stuff so fun to work with. It lasts a little bit longer than face paint and the color is super duper intense. So this is a demonstration of the pure gold Maron powder. It beads up on the skin a little bit and then when it dries it flattens out and it lasts a long time. So I'm going around this circle with the Maron Gold and around each of these tiny little teardrops. super shiny. And now I'm just pulling from the outer circle there into the hairline and a long thin line. And then I put two lines from the center circle up straight into the hairline again to create the look of a headpiece. And here I'm just placing the brush on the line that I already created and laying it down really quickly to create those little dangling gold pieces. And I decided to create a couple more lines up there on the outer side and some dots to connect the turquoise shapes and three dots down from the center and here I'm doing three teardrops large to small on the outside of the makeup. Special thanks to my model. I went ahead and loaded uh, my flat brush with Metallic Rose by Diamond FX to place it in the lip. Usually I'd use a Q-tip, but since it's my own child, it's probably fine. And that's super beautiful. I'm using a turquoise glitter by Glimmer Art. And just going over the turquoise jewels. Oh, got a little bit on the nose. And the same turquoise glitter on the eyeshadow. And now I'm adding uh, turquoise adhesive jewels here to the base of the circle gem shape and on either side and the little turquoise gems and some pink gems up above that. And you can really have fun with the gems here. Um, any way that you think it looks good. Here's a pink one in the center between the eyes. And I went ahead and added a gem on the nose to give the effect of a unique little nose ring there. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, it's an Arabian princess, and I hope you're inspired to make something like it. Happy painting, guys.